So in this tutorial we are going to sketch Rowdy Ronda Rousey from WWE. She is one of my favorite athletes from women's division and as we all know that she is going to collide with the Charlotte Flair. So I'm really excited for their matches and I just watched Smackdown today and their feud is going too good and I just thought that I want to sketch her. I have already sketched Charlotte if you want to see her sketch. I have uploaded complete tutorial of hers and this is particular tutorial of Ronda Rousey. So before we start this tutorial as I always say that I my only goal is to share art to each and every person in this world. So share this tutorial as much as you can and today's like goal will be 10 as always. So like and you have to subscribe right <laughs> and comment how much you will read this particular tutorial. So if you want to buy these tools that I am using for this particular tutorial of Ronda Rousey, you can buy those tools from link in the description box of mine this video also on this video and if you want to know how to sharp your pencils in artistic way and really in a different way how to really you should sharp your pencils for artworks and abstract art and different type of artworks so link will be in the description bo box or i button you can also check out the i button where i've uploaded a complete tutorial of how to sharp your pencils and before we start this tutorial or begin with this tutorial we are going to decide which technique we are going to use like perspective technique like guideline technique like uh, grid technique so as always i use grid technique if you don't know how to use a grid technique i have uploaded a complete playlist for it and the name of playlist is how to you can check out in my channel link and also in i button also so you can check out and you should know easy way uh, i have uploaded a complete both tutorials for how to apply grid to your drawing paper also in that playlist so you can check out in my channel also now we are going to start this particular tutorial of ronda rousey with making her hairs as i always say that first of all see what type of hairs which type of colors hairs are as most of the hairs of women are a little bit straight as we all know but uh, those are black hairs also and particular tutorial of this Ronda Rousey hairs are blonde or golden color little bit brownish also there is two or three shades little bit black color also where the shades are going on so to make this type of hairs I recommend you to use a graphite pencil I am going to use a mechanical pencil 0.3 mm first of all for the base layer as I always say they go box by box dimension of this particular grid or particular boxes are 22 boxes vertical and total 16 boxes horizontal one box is equal to 1.5 centimeter in height and length so you can make easily these boxes and if you want to make it in into a A4 sheet you can also make it one centimeter boxes so go box by box as I am just making and if you want to see this particular tutorial into a real time where I have uploaded a complete 8 9 hour sketch you can also check out my second channel Shweet Sketches 2.0 where I have uploaded a complete real time sketch now let's just start making hairs and particular tutorial of this Ronda Rousey hairs are straight in most of the times but but the part which is above fore forehead it is layer a bit more curvy in hairs so you have to keep on focusing where the hairs are a little bit curving most of the time those are straight hairs and it is easy to make straight hairs but the hairs sh should be blackish but problem with this particular tutorial is that hairs are blonde color and to make blonde color or whiter color or light hair colors like brown or golden colors it's a little bit more tougher because you have to give shades only with the mechanical pencil which is a little bit darker and pencils like 2B H pencil and 2H pencil so I recommend that you use mechanical pencil of 0.3 mm make hairs with the direction first of all then use a makeup brush and use makeup brush 
brush in a direction of hairs like somewhere hairs are a little bit curving so curve your brush also the same technique that used to that you use to make pencil and apply your pencils same technique you should apply while blending also using a makeup brush or paint paint brush whatever you are having so uh, we are done with the base layer then now we are going to use a 2b pencil for the only parts or only hairs which are layer a bit darker like the parts which are hairs are layer a bit curving are the parts which are having layer a bit more darker look those are browner hairs those are not a uh, golden hairs so we are going to use a 3b or 4b pencil for the only those parts and now again we are going to blend it using a blending stump or uh, not blending stump uh, using a makeup brush or paint brush whatever you have then again after blending a 4b pencil or a second layer we are going to use a main thing which is most useful and it is a mono eraser we are going to use mono eraser to create highlights highlights will give you look of the particular golden color that it is visible on the hairs above part of the hairs so to make those parts we are going to use mono eraser then finally again we are going to use a makeup brush for the parts like to give a continuous flow of hairs now we will focus on the different parts in part 2 of this tutorial So that was all for this tutorial. If you have learned something from this video, subscribe and drop a like. And comment down your question and queries regarding this tutorial. Meanwhile, take care, take care of your loved ones too. Have an artistic day. Tattoos.